Hi, I'm Raghav and I'm a career coach here at Mindler that comes from a tech background. So today I'm going to be talking about the field of computer science and what are some key specializations that one can look at after their graduation. So why computer science? Of course, it is a very, very elusive career today. It's something that is sought after by millions, right? And why is this the case? If history is any proof, I mean, our answers lies right there. We've seen the technology domain grow in leaps and bounds over the past decade. Just to give you a very simple example, we have come from a dial-up internet connection to a faster than broadband 5G network. It's a miracle of technology that keeps giving all the time. So today, I'm going to be talking about five specializations that one can pursue after the graduation or even graduates who are think, still thinking to make a decision. What can they pursue? So here are the top five. Let's get started. Number one, development. Now, development is a very significant area in the field of computer science. Very often, we think of development as only designing software or creating software. That's it. But that's where we miss out. The development area has so many subdomains on its own. For example, one can look at software development, one can look at web development, mobile application development, and even iOS development for that matter. So who is this for, right? If you're somebody who loves hardcore coding, if you have amazing problem solving skills, you enjoy testing, you enjoy debugging, right? And if you're somebody to implement UI, UX, are very keen on understanding how are these software development cycles working, I know lots of tech terms there, but if you are somebody that this sounds interesting to, you are somebody who should be pursuing development as something that is a specialization. Here's a pro tip. Did you know that Apple is a $2 trillion company today and they were the fastest to it? You see where I'm going with this, right? Learn iOS and macOS development for that matter. This is your foot into the door into one of the biggest companies in the world and one that is running on development end to end. So that's where development can be uh, leveraged. Number two, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today, these are one of the most trending terms across the field of computer science. And for the right reasons, of course, because today we are surrounded by technology throughout, right? Of course, this is a domain that has a lot of, uh, I would say, opportunity in terms of a successful career, money making, and a lot of potential growth as well, because this is the future, right? So what are the responsibilities? What does one need to pursue, let's say, AI and machine learning? Of course, you'll be working on data science prototyping. You'll be, uh, expect, you'll be challenged a lot. This is not an easy field to pursue. Let me make that very clear. Of course, you'll be expected to design different machine learning algorithms. Now, what do I mean with this? A very simple example could be, let's say, a Google Assistant on your phone or an, you know, a Siri on your phone or even Amazon Alexa for that matter. What's happening here is the fact that if I can ask an Alexa or my Siri, what's the weather and it gives me one answer, I can also ask them, how hot is it? It'll give me an answer. I can also ask them, do I need an umbrella today? And it'll give me a same answer. The fact that they're being able to respond to my question, no matter how I ask it, that is what is AI and machine learning to be put together. The fact that you can train and retrain an algorithm to be able to produce a consistent output, that's how I can put it. And that's how that sums that. So I would say uh, AI and machine learning, if you have made up your mind for it, absolutely go for it. It's absolutely trending and you will not regret it. Number three, database administrators, or as we like to call them, DBAs. As the name suggests, you will be managing databases. So what does a DBA do? Of course, you're expected to handle servers, manage and design databases, and even other operations. So your responsibilities definitely include collecting enough requirements from the users, from the design team, and then designing a database that caters to their needs, right? You'll also be expected to write queries and even execute those in the production environment. This is something that is so relevant today because believe it or not, you are surrounded by databases throughout. The fact that you're being able to log into, let's say an online banking system, that's one database you're logging into. Right. The fact that you're being able to log into a YouTube account and watch this video today, there is a database behind it. So I would say database administrator or a DBA is another very trending career in the field of computer science. It's a very good specialization to pursue. So if you are somebody who loves uh, SQL for that matter, go ahead and pursue this. Number four, testing and automation. As the name suggests, this is a specialization that deals with testing and automating software and hardware. It is one of the most trending careers as well. So it is a very important specialization you can look at. What are the key responsibilities here? 
Of course, you're expected to test the application. That might be a hardware or a software for any issues. You're expected to check the product quality, whether it is up to a certain standard or not. You're also expected to implement various test cases so that you make sure that every possible element, every possible scenario is covered. A very clear example could be of Tesla. We know Tesla is leading the autonomous driving, uh, I would say, the revolution, right? So basically what they're doing is the engineers are sitting together coming up with different use cases and making sure that a car can manage and pass through all of them. If it fails one, it fails all. It's simple as that. It's supposed to pass 100 out of 100. That's the level of accuracy this field is looking at. So testing and automation, a very good specialization to look at. And last but not the least, number five, the field of research. Now, as the name suggests, once again, this is where you're expected to do a lot of research into new designs, new algorithms, uh, coming up with new ways to solve a particular problem. It might be a very, very tiny improvement on an existing algorithm, but that's what you're expected to be doing, performing continuous research. What are the uh, what are some key responsibilities that are expected out of you, right? So you'll be solving computational algorithms. That is your core task. You will be creating, designing, and implementing the algorithm to solve a computational problem. Just to give you an example, the cryptocurrency today. How are we mining these crypto coins, right? They are essentially solving complex mathematical problems. And these are computers, are algorithms that have been designed to solve those problems. So this is where research comes in. And I don't want to even get started on how things are getting automated and how much research has gone behind, let's just say, the SpaceX being able to land that rocket back on Earth, right, automatically. So there's a lot of research. There's a lot of scope. Every company in the world, whoever has a tech department, is conducting research. It might be pharma, it might be software, hardware, it might be, let's say, automobiles, anybody, even the COVID vaccines for that matter. They've had to do a lot of research and technology has been at the forefront of it also. So research, once again, a very, very prominent, I would say, specialization to look at. And that wraps up the top five specializations in the field of computer science. Those are my top five recommendations to you. I would love to hear your thoughts on the same as well. The contact details to reach us should be in the description below, or if you're watching it on another platform, just feel free to DM us. I would love to hear your thoughts and would love to connect with you to discuss this further as well. In the meantime, stay safe and take care. This is Raghav and I'm done speaking. Thank you for watching.